Hey guys, welcome to Pemby's Gaming World. This is the much requested tutorial on how I get my videos from my happy CS3 videos to look so damn good. <laughs> okay, now this this I'm mainly going to deal with this game, but there's a few other games that I play that um, basically look really good as well, um, and I'll show you the settings I've been using. But let's go to configure of Motorstorm Pacific Rift. There we go. Now, when you first um, install a package file, that this is basically what you get. But a few others of these are checked. Now, as you can see, um, that it all depends on your processor. See that one there? If I had a Ryzen system, then I'd check that, but I don't, so I leave that unchecked. SPU cache. A lot of the time, I take that off because even though it says should normally stay enabled. I find with some games when that's when that's checked it, they tend to crash more but I mean I, I could be wrong on that one load as you can see there GPU now oh, what's that somebody likes making a video today dude but the config is for the, this game only <laughs> here we go this is the video mate <laughs> the uh, what time in eh? my, my graphics card is GeForce RTX 2080 and um, the frame limit is auto 16 times anisotropic filter and um, the answer for easel i can't say it god untangle your god pemby jesus anti-aliasing it's sunday morning anti-aliasing is uh, not an option at the moment but i'm sure in the future it will be the native resolution of the game as you, if you played it on playstation 3 you probably know it is 1280 by 720 which is the original hd but full hd came out after that and it was 1080p but i always make sure right color buffers is checked um 600 which is 7680 by 4320 aka 8k right keep that the same um now the debug menu if you haven't got this for this game disables running occlusion queries minor to moderate performance boost okay so might hang on might introduce issues with broken occlusion missing geometry and extreme popping but uh, i've not really noticed anything like that with that game and i use the G gpu texture scaling now i could uncheck that and use that one force cpu 8-bit emulation which ties in with that right color buffers okay so oh you're following this so far now in order to slow the game down i use this cheat engine so basically what you do is you click this button here and you find the rpcs3 process open enable the speed hack go to 0.5 now what this does it means that the frame rate will stay hovering around about 30 frames a second which is this this game's capped at 30 frames a second so if anybody in the rpcs3 community can tell me how i can get rid of these damn 30 fps caps because my computer can run all these probably at 60 frames a second plus okay but this is what you do you click apply now any game you start now will run half the speed right so let's get back to this audio this is important when you're slowing down a game you've got to slow the audio down as well this by default is uh, checked enable buffering but you have to check this yourself but i put it on 100 percent there but uh I'm, that's experimental normally i'll take it to about 85 percent but you know sometimes a game loads in differently the audio sounds exactly like it's been slowed down sometimes it sounds really it sounds really weird like you're underwater it's weird so that that is something you have to experiment with yourself all right now the de debug menu to get that up on screen go to if you this is your rpcs3 folder when you download it make a for this is what i do i make a folder as you can see there I just highlight it there that's this folder here then you see this GUI config uh, configs click on current settings go down show debug tab equals true now by default that'll say false so you just change that and save it as true all right 
and then you'll find next time you put it on you'll have that option right so if you don't know how to get that debug menu there you go up uh, that's helped a lot of people because I was like scratching my head thinking oh the hell they get this on and not, not, not a one of them apart from one youtuber would you know let you know how you how they did that but anyway, anyway you can have a performance overlay if you want um, that's that's optional but when I record with shadow play I've got um, a FPS counter in the corner anyway so I don't I don't really need it it doesn't show up how many FPS I'm getting when it's recording but uh, you know I know it's around about 30 frames a second because of all what I've been doing with cheat engine and everything um, GPU CPU I think I've gone through everything there that's how that's how I get this game up and running now let's go to this one aliens colonial marines let's right click that configure this is how I get this one working you can just just um, you, TSX instructions are on you know more up-to-date processors you you all have them so if you haven't got that then there's nothing I can do about that I'm afraid GPU that's to 600% as well right okay so if I want to run this game this game maintains 30 frames a second really well so I might not need to need, need to use cheat engine with this game but uh, I am planning on doing a, an aliens colonial marines um, comparison video with this at 4k or 8k super sampled um, compare it with a PC version which I've just installed with the um, Templar GFX overhaul mod you know and it, it looks really good and I've been playing through it and I was going to do a video and dedicate it to my old buddy Sakurabo1982 because back in the day we played this on PlayStation 3 excuse me oh I can tell I want something to eat I'm hungry <laughs> sorry about that um, you probably didn't pick it up actually but anyway that's that's how I do that one audio is the same thing see how I've got it set at 85% debug I've not really messed about with the debug because I find it because you can see that green circle means it'll run really well see it's my aim with this video to give you a really comprehensive RP CS3 uh, video on how I get things working Killzone 2 configure now finding the later vision versions of Killzone 2 and Killzone 3 well sorry the, the latest emulator versions the hard this this won't run and this one when it does run you get less than one PS one FPS you know uh, so it's no good to nobody and it's a shame because uh, I've had to download an old version of RPCS3 that runs these better and I've actually got all the DLC and all the DLC for that one working right so that's the subject for another video if you want to I've always wanted to know how the hell do you get DLC working in RPCR3 and uh, I've seen videos on it but only in specific games but if kills on two is your thing kills on three I can show you how I got the um, DLC working and where I got the DLC from now I don't mind downloading stuff that's that's you know it's something you'd normally pay for I didn't pay for them but at the end of the day I own Killzone 2 and Killzone 3 and all the DLC from my PlayStation Network account on PlayStation 3 yeah so you know I, I've already bought the games a few times over actually you know especially Killzone 2 I've had that I bought it about three or four times because I've got rid of it in the past because it's been out so long anyway that's uh, Killzone 2 Go through them all again there we go kills on three this one don't even go off what I'm saying here because uh, what I'm showing you because it, it runs like crap it might not do on your computer but I've got a decent computer as you can see RTX 2080 GeForce um, an i7 9700k processor it's overclocked to 4.97 gigahertz yeah stretch of display areas see all these are experimental with this game but it doesn't work properly and so it's, it's no real point taking much notice anyway let's go to this one as you've, you've seen a video on this this is how I set this one up GPU as you can see 600 600 percent 
just pause the video if you're there you want to just have a look at that and uh, a debug is force cpu bit emulation which is conjunction it works in conjunction with right color buffers close right so this is how i get it working and uh the videos that you've seen oh and by the way bad company 2 runs really uh, almost flawlessly you get a lot of graphics popping sometimes especially at the beginning you see a pair of eyes with nothing else <laughs> it's quite funny but um it it looks very because it, it's an old graphics engine it looks pretty similar to the pc version but pc version runs at a very high frame rate that doesn't it's capped at 30. so in ending this video i hope i've covered what i do with these uh, these gaming videos and now is a, a compilation of different uh, videos that i've done and uh, i enjoy my content and there's a hell of a lot more to come oh and these have been interpolated to 60 frames a second where necessary um yeah now any more questions uh, feel free to ask don't hesitate to ask and uh, if i can help you i will do in getting these games working with this emulator but uh if you've got a really slow pc then you know you've got to do what i did and that's invest in a brand new one a real decent pc but one day a uh, lower end pc will run this really well even though you know emulation is not easy for a pc to do all right thank you for watching guys and catch you later but at the same time keep in your mind that he might be trying to con you you know you hurt him so put that pressure on but do it smart comes across with a hookup wow he is level how could he possibly get up from that he's not going to this fight's over it's over
make this look easy. Round one. Fight! Thirty of horses and these in all the new office. Mr. Marshall, sir. You want a hole in your friend? Get us to the fort no quicker. Sweet Lord. Take it slow on the way out of town. No need to kick off a lot of stuff. Woo now. 